Hey guys, it's uh, Christmas here where I am, and uh, you got my Thompson M1A1 by, uh, licensed by Cybergun, and I believe it's made by Calco Sports, so I'm here to do a review of it. Uh, well, it's kind of a first thoughts video, I can't exactly review it yet. Uh, the magazine is a third round realistic capacity magazine. I did figure it out, I uh, loaded it with a speed loader, and then dumped them all out and counted them. And it is 30 rounds. I like the magazine. It's nice and it's stiff to put in, and I'm, so I know it's going to stay. And this gun feels awesome when you shoulder it. I mean, this is the best feeling AEG I've ever had. And I thought M4s and AKs are comfortable. This thing's way better. I could shoulder this thing for a whole day, and nothing, and I wouldn't even get mad. I wouldn't even start getting tired. And the fact that this is a sports line and it's all plastic makes it even better. So yeah, nice plastic magazine. It's got good weight to it though. Uh, so then you got to, there's a little slide right there. You got to line up the T part of the back magazine with that, slide it in so you hit a lot. So, so then we'll take out the magazine, toss it over there. So let's start at the back. Uh, the back of this, at, this on the stock. It is a not as an imitation wood stock. And on the butt plate, there is a small switch. Let's see if I can get this the best I can. It's a small switch you push up, and you have to hold the switch as you pull the butt plate out and cut and down. And then it will reveal your, reveal your wires and everything. Right now, I'm using my. Nine, my 8.4 from my AK, which puts out a little bit more power than the battery that comes with it. This is the 8.4 that comes with, but and this is putting out more power than it right now. Uh, both batteries fit. This one you do got to do a little bit of wiggling. You can't put it straight in. You have to put it in at an angle, and you can't connect it before you put it in. Uh, this battery is the one that came with the gun, and I'm guessing it's an okay battery. I haven't really charged it yet. It's just got like a 10, 15 minute charge on it. This battery has like a 5 hour charge. The thing is that when you put, it in, put a stick battery in this, you cannot just take it straight in. It'll, it won't st it'll stop because there's a part in there that stops it. You've got to kind of put it up at an angle and then connect your wires. This can be the most painful, most pain part of the gun to do. To do. I like that you can fit both stick and brick magazine styles into this gun it gives it more op gives you more options and the fact that you can put a bigger magazine not, not a bigger magazine a bigger battery in it makes it you can shoot it a lot faster but I don't recommend shooting it uh, getting a, a faster battery for it or anything it should it, I recommend also if, unless if you won't get more mags for it get high caps this is a realistic capacity and I'm only going to go semi on it the charging handle here does completely nothing but it does reveal this one part of the gun right there that little white part where you can put some silicone oil to oil your piston right here right above the magwell we have the shell ejection port where your crank wheel for your uh, hop up is you can also access that on the bottom uh, on the, in the magwell too but I, it's just easier to do it up here so let's move uh, on this side you got the Thompson Trades Auto Ordnance Corporation, Worcester, Massachusetts, USA, made in China. Yeah, uh, you got your rear sight, which is adjustable, left and right for windage and up and down for windage. On the other side of the gun, you have the sa another trade. It's a Thompson submachine gun, caliber 45. Here's where they messed up on the trades. It's caliber 45 M1A1. It's supposed to be 45 ACP. Uh, number one two four four one nine four. I don't know if those are unique or not, but still, if it is, it's cool. You got your nice sized grip on it. It feels really comfortable. They did a really good job with the faux wood. It, it feels like it's actual wood. Uh, you got your selector switches. This one is safe and fire. This one is semi and full. And then you have your mag release, which what I do is when I have to pull the mag out, I never use it back here. 
I always push it up right above the trigger guard. Then you got the trigger and, and inside the trigger guard itself. You got your magwell here. Then you got your foregrip. And then you got the rescue barrel. It seems like a shorter barrel than on the actual Thompson, but still, I'm a CQB guy, so it's good. You got your sling mounts, which feel metal, but they're metal, but they look plastic. This gun, in all in all, weighs about maybe a pound at the most. Especially when I put when I put two, I load this with two fives because it's shooting 328 FPS right now. I think uh, I'm not going to upgrade this thing any. It's perfect as is. I like how it feels. Like I said, this gun is like the most comfortable gun I've ever held, ever. And but the only thing I have to get used to is the magazine being that hard to put in. I can carry more of these mags than I can M4 mags. I can carry two to maybe four in a pocket, in a pouch, and uh, side by side, and, and then stack. Or I can get a nice drum clip with, a, and keep it in my cargo pants. Not much. So you also got to be careful with putting the mag, and you do not want to break anything in there. Uh, this uh, gun does not sound like a very good gun. Here's what it sounds like, but it shoots hard. Believe me, this. Um, I shot through a piece of cardboard that, that thick with it, and it went sh through and through. And it, I was standing about 15, 20 feet away from it, so I'm pretty sure it's shooting a little bit over 3, 328 FPS. Let's get an one more look at the gun. It does come with a speed loader where you put the BBs in the tube and ram it down, and it comes with a little ramrod, and it comes with a cleaning rod with no tip. Then it comes with another sling. Well, actually. Here's the sling for it. Nice little crap plastic sling. And it comes with about a thousand BB, well, around 500 BBs. Um, I like how this feels. It does not have the winding thing on the bottom since it's like a, it's a realistic capacity magazine. But if you get this gun, this is, uh, I'd recommend being conservative with ammo and going semi auto only. Or if, keeping, or if you keep it on full auto, just keep it at a three round burst. So that's the end of this video. Next video, I'll review my pistol and I'll do my loadout. Thanks and goodbye.